Welcome back. Joining me now is my hard-hitting political panel with Liberal Senator Holly Hughes, former Speaker of the House Bronwyn Bishop and Melbourne Deputy Lord Mayor and leading male feminist Nicholas Rees. Uh, let's start with Anthony Albanese. It's been reported in The Australian that Albanese has told senior party colleagues that he is in favour of appointing former Prime Minister Kevin Rudd as our next ambassador to Washington if Labor wins the election. Well, Albanese was asked if he recalled saying this, but he declined to comment. Uh, others have rubbished the idea. Bronwyn, it's hard to think of a worse candidate for this role than Kevin Rudd. Absolutely. But Albanese was cheerleader number one for the return of Rudd uh, to get rid of Gillard. Mm -hmm. And uh, I do remember a, an incident in a Canberra restaurant on a particular occasion when they were pl plotting and planning and um, Albanese was hosting this large table of uh, people who were all cheering on Kevin Rudd. So it wouldn't surprise me at all uh, if, if he... Uh, in fact, uh, had that intention. And we've got to understand now that Anthony Albanese tells us lies. He is telling lies about um, to pensioners, about this, this introduction of a, a debit card for them. It is just not happening. It's a lie. He knows it's a lie. So everything he, he says now has to be tested against that. So if he says, no, I haven't dreamt of sending uh, Kevin Rudd, you know he's probably telling a lie. Well, you mentioned the debit card and the Labor Party said it will continue to peddle that false claim that the coalition would put pensioners on this welfare card and control their spending. Christina Keneally was doubling down on that today. Well, Anne Luston said to a parliamentary inquiry, and I quote, she was open to a conversation with the nation about the further use of the cashlet debit card as a welfare measure. These are Anne Rutten because the government thinks that the age pension is welfare. Understand this. So don't come in here and try to say that the government have got clean hands on this. Anne Rutten is on the record. Well, Rita, that's Nicholas, mean girl speak. Nicholas, is it Labor's... Well, yeah, don't come in here. But Nicholas, um, is it Labor's official policy to scare the elderly with false claims? What's happening here? Well, uh, look, can I just begin with that Washington Post story, which we just added further speculation to? I mean, I'm going to posit to you that if Scott Morrison wins the election, then Greg Hunt's going to be the next ambassador to oh, Washington. For God's or sake, Alan Nicholas. Tudge, if they need to find an exit plan he, he for him. I mean, these things are just pure speculation and really, those, by the way. really not worthy, Holly, of us uh, further ruminating on them. As for um, cashless debit cards, I mean, the fact is the Liberal government have got form on this. They no. have expressed no, many no, times no, their no. desire to expand the cashless debit card no. where you quarantine no. people's income so they can't spend it on certain things and so you would have to say there is a real risk of this dangerous policy development in Nicholas, the event of Nicholas. a uh, re-elected Morrison government. We saw what they did with robo-debt. We've Radar. seen what they've done with cashless debit card trials and so yes, this is a real risk for people to consider in this election. No. Radar, I, where, you know, Nicholas, I well, would Senator love to Hughes, spend... Uh, can I, can can I, can I just go to Senator Hughes here? Can you categorically rule out a Morrison government putting pensioners on a cashless welfare card? Yes. Absolutely. And Nicholas, as much as I don't want to spend uber amounts more time with you, I would be happy to go through with you the community affairs inquiries that we conducted into the cashless debit card, where a number of communities were incredibly impressed with the way that the cashless debit card had, had positively contributed to them because it reduced humbugging in Indigenous communities. It actually meant children were getting access to fresh food and vegetables, to school supplies and to those things things that families required. So it was actually widely supported when it came to welfare payments. The Liberal National Government does not consider the pension to be a welfare payment. Correct. So that is the first lie. If you want to talk about Albo and Rudd, the hubris that is being shown that he would start to preempt his ambassadorial post. But what he should be more concerned about is his senior Labor colleagues who are already leaking against him 
10 days into the campaign. Mm. But what we did have also in the Senate, Nicholas, and you might not have these sort of things in you know, the, the Melbourne City Council, but in the Senate, we actually have motions where we look at serious policy issues. And one of them was this ridiculous claim of pensioners going on to the cashless debit card. We voted against it. Labor voted for it. So if we want to start looking at who's lying here and we want to go back on what's actually on the record, not Christina Keneally mean girling it up. I mean, some might say her campaign slogan should be fouler by seat, fouler by nature. But we are the party that stood against <laughs> cashless <laughs> debit card for pensioners. Well, <laughs> let's talk about what happened with Kimberly Kitching if we want to talk about slurs. But that is an outrageous lie. It is doing nothing but scaring the elderly. And in fact, the councils that support the aged have come out and said this is an absolute lie. It's well, not even a falsehood. It's not a misuse of words. It is an out and out lie by the lying elbow and sneaky Jim. Correct. And the fact that they've now want to move on means means that there has to be action taken by the coalition to reach those people to give them reassurance mm. and use every method. Letterbox drops, uh, communications, ringing people up because it is set to scare them and that is the tactic that they are using. It is absolutely disgusting. Mm. It's a, it might be well, disgusting, I mean, but it is and, effective. And Rustin is on the record saying she supports the cashless words. debit card. No, no, we will well support fair. the cashless debit card. The cashless debit card is not for pensioners. The and cashless not debit well card has pension. been trialled in Indigenous communities. And Nick, maybe We've if you left Senator inner Hughes. city Melbourne, you might actually hear, go out to Alice Springs, go out to some remote communities and see the positive difference that is actually made to the women and children in those communities. Maybe get out of your inner city left-wing media uh, Melbourne bubble and you might actually learn something. Now let's move on to the PM's strong support for Catherine Deves. Uh, we talked, uh, mentioned that earlier in my uh, editorial. But then we've got the miserable malcontents of the so-called moderate faction, Matt Keane and Trent Zimmerman and others, continuing to attack Catherine Deves and, by extension, really attacking the Liberal Party. Bronwyn, I mean, why should Matt Keane be ultimately thrown out of the Liberal Party for not only attacking and helping to cause a pile on Catherine Deves, but for deliberately and systematically, I would argue, undermining the coalition's election campaign? Well, the first thing to say about Mr Keane is that the first time he's got a proper job in being the Treasurer of New South Wales, it's time he paid attention to it and started learning it so he can do it properly. That would be a useful thing for him to do, other than being Malcolm Turnbull's the organ grinder and he's the monkey. So if we can just go back to the question of uh, what's happening with Catherine Deves, is she is speaking about an issue which is of importance to every mother of every daughter in the country and fathers as well. Mm -hmm. And that picture of a six foot four biological man beating, thrashing, three carrying small women in a swimming meet says it all. It is not fair, it is not right. Women have fought hard to have their sports recognised, to be paid properly, to have good coverage oh of their sport. God. And now it is under threat because they are competing against people who threat. are physically far larger than they are. Now, Zali Stegel was well, asked the question. He I was can asked hear the yeah, I can hear it too, Rita. Well, that's huffing and puffing. Uh, well, well, what are you saying my God about? I mean, uh, what has Bronwyn said which isn't factually correct? Well, what, what's your objection, Nicholas? Well, um, I just... So, uh, OK, let me level with you, uh, Rita. I, I mean, I just think this is the biggest beat-up of all time. No. And it's so... No, it's not. Uh, oh, it's, it's so venal because it causes no, it extreme stress to people who are transgender. And you creating this scare campaign that Girls the netball course of Australia are going to be overrun by six-foot hairy men in netball skirts is just a load of that garbage. And you know it. And the fact that the Prime Minister is allowing Catherine Debus 
Labor's to continue to run is an absolute disgrace to the Liberal Party. Oh, I'm sorry. You, you know she's not going to win. As what the in the but it's all you about, it's all about running the 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 women with scare guns. campaigns I'm sorry. out there in suburban Australia, creating this sense that, 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 that Australian sport is going to be interrupted in yes, a way we've is. never known before. It's just a complete beat up. Zoli oh. Stegall oh. was asked, Nicholas. Zoli Stegall was asked whether or not she would have been. There are uh, multiple examples of this. Sorry, I've just got to wrap it up because we're running out of time. But Nicholas Reese, for you to pretend this is some fabricated issue when the, you got the Labor Party lying about the debit card, about the cashless welfare card, and this is a genuine issue. We had Laurel Hubbard, who used to be a male weightlifter, now identifies as a woman, dominating, breaking records in the women ranks. We've got the swimmer. Okay. Who's, well, there's seven uh, again, billion human beings on the planet. Well, just give me one example. I can got give a few you, more to go I've before we two, actually... and I can give so you, I can a, a give big you problem. plenty more. OK, I've got two or three, OK? This isn't a All right, problem. seven billion people oh, okay. on the planet. Well, how many no. do you want? Three examples. Oh, no, OK, no, so then it's not a problem unless I've got one billion. You know what? Missing the point on purpose. Nicholas Reese, Senator Hughes, Bronwyn Bishop, thank you for joining me. I'm sorry we've run out of time. Coming up, Alex Epstein gives us his take on Labor's energy policies. <laughs>